In this clip we are going to retrieve the latest currency rates from European Central Bank and we will synchronize it with SubBusiness1 using the DI API function. First of all, let's create a new scenario step, let's call it set currency. Afterwards we can start with the flow design. The first element would be the inbound, the inbound channel would be time-based and uh, Afterwards, we are setting the time interval. It will be executed every single day at 11 p.m. And our scenario will be executed on that specific time. Let's finalize the flow with the outbound channel and we can merge it together. The first entity would be the HTTP call because we are going to contact the European Central Bank. In this case, the HTTA would be the in communication channel where we will perform the hot HTTP call. Then the host name should be entered, the destination protocol. We will set the method and the query and the path. We are using the get method and the get query. The next action will be the contact the currencies from the sub business one. It means we are going to use the service layer adapter type we will select the sub business one system we will use the get method and we will select the object identifier currencies then we will retrieve all the currency types what are listed in the sub business one database the next operation would be the xsl transformation first of all let's type the name for the source and then we can open the file in the XSL transformation, we are doing the magic and you can check this specific code directly in the published scenario step. Afterwards, we are going to add the split and the join atoms because here we are going to execute the call several times and this feature allows us to really execute the included atoms multiple times then we are including the b1di call because uh, the di api function exists which might really uh, update the currencies and for that reason, we are just selecting the business one database and we are contacting it via the DI call. Once it is done, then we can move to the deployment panel and we can create a new deployment for this specific entry. Let's call it set currencies. Afterwards, we are selecting the scenario step. We are activating the detailed logging. And we can also enable one feature and this will allow us to manually trigger the scenario step. As soon as we are deploying the, the deployment, then the trigger button will be available and we can execute it right now and we don't have to wait for 11 p.m. It had been executed successfully. It's time to see the exchange rates in sub business one. As you can see, everything is here.